Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Please like the video and also turn on your notifications because I try to post pretty often now. I'm gonna be real with y'all, I'm not, um, <laughs> I'm not consistent, but I'm trying, okay? At least you guys got three videos this week. Um, so, I wanna say if you are not familiar, welcome to my channel. We are gonna definitely grow, okay? So this is after the gym. I just took a shower and everything and I decided to just go ahead and film this video because I have to edit the video and then post it probably Friday or Saturday. So if you're watching this, either Friday, Friday or Saturday. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and like wash my face and do my skincare and I thought about like just doing a wind down with you guys and just doing kind of like you know doing skincare after the gym workout whatever my hair is wrapped if you watched my last vlog you said I did cut my hair short but let's go ahead and get into it what a Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Okay, so um, first I'm gonna cleanse my face really quick. I'm gonna cleanse it. Um, I've been breaking out a lot lately. I don't know what, I, like what's really going on, but I have been breaking out a lot. Um, but I wanted to, I did a poll on my Instagram and I wanted to do a story time and I, got dm by an old friend of mine or an old associate of mine i mean i don't even talk to him anymore so he's an associate and he was like lols remember that time you were crying in the backseat of the car <laughs> so obviously it has something to do with the police because this would not be titled the time i almost went to jail so <laughs> um first and foremost it was freshman year of college um i'm gonna start off with the events that happened to lead up to why I ended up in this predicament. Um, so it was freshman year, as I mentioned, we were actually, um, we were in the house. Like we were in our dorm. Shout out to my Spelman sisters, Abby Sci-Fi, ow. Um, so we were in the dorm and one of my friends, well, one of my old friends, um, I'm not friends with that girl no more. One of my old friends was like, she wanted to go out. She was like sad. I don't know what she was sad for. I think she got like a bad grade or something. And she wanted to go out. And at the time I was talking to this guy who was part of this fraternity. We're not gonna mention what fraternity it is. We're just not gonna say it out loud. We're just gonna let it go. So I was texting him and he was like, oh, we're having a party. You should come by or whatever. So I like told her, I'm like, girl, you're having like a little kickback. You trying to go this and that. I'm like, I really don't want to go because I don't want to like, you know, necessarily like be all out and about. Let me just say this. I dated a couple people when I was in college, but like the shit was low key. Like some of them were Greek. It wasn't that many in the same school. Like it was only one guy in the AUC and no one will ever know who it is. And then um, everyone else, like they went to either like Georgia Tech, Georgia State, like they went somewhere else. So to the point where like no one would ever find out. It wasn't Georgia. Georgia Tech, I talked to a guy, but I didn't date him. Okay, I'm getting off a tangent. Um, so <laughs> um I was like, okay, fine, like you at the time, like if you go to a, a HBCU, I think most HBCUs are like this, um, you can't have your car there your freshman year. So, um I was like, you come and get us or whatever. He was like, no, but I'll send my friend to come get you guys. I'm like, okay, cool. So he sent us a ride over and we got to where the kickback was happening mind you guys we are living in the hood okay spelman morehouse clark is in the fucking hood okay so we're in <laughs> were we on parsons that night i can't remember where this party was like for the life of me like it was over in that area to the point where like we could walk back to spelman if we wanted to but it was kind of like not advised to walk at night by yourself or like with your friend you know like sorry chris i just realized i was looking in the viewfinder <laughs> my best friend is gonna really get mad at me he's gonna be like bruh stop looking in the viewfinder look at the camera um so <laughs> so um we get over to where the party was at and mind you like it was a kickback and like there was all these like beeps there like his fraternity was there and it was like pretty much kind of like a fraternity kickback and like you just got invited if you knew uh, it's a long story whatever so we get there 
and we're in the house or whatever and he asked me like that I want something to drink so I got something to drink got like a mixed drink whatever I'm not gonna name the drink that I had but just know I had a drink okay okay um so I got like a little drink or whatever and she got a drink and like she had a crush on this one guy <laughs> oh my god can you remember this shit <laughs> She had a crush on this one guy and mind you like I'm not even talking about sis like this but like my friend Aaliyah knows this girl and Aaliyah would be like she wasn't cute like Aaliyah will always say that like she wasn't cute she was actually pretty dusty like Aaliyah would dead ass say that shit so sis had a crush on this guy and like I knew him because yeah I just knew him um so he was there and like he came over he gave me a hug or whatever he was like, what's up? Um, how you been or whatever? And I'm like hugging him and like, you know, talking to him or whatever. And like, this bitch is on the side of me, okay? She's on the side of me. So he was like, oh, hey, how you doing? Are you Tasia's friend? And she was like, and he was like, what's your name? She's like, my name is, uh, 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 uh. And he was like, okay, nice to meet you. And like walked away. <laughs> like sis was stuck okay she was fucking stuck like sis was damn near like she dead ass was like like literally like mouth open like and I was like looking at her because I'm like bitch like what the fuck's wrong with you like talk speak up so she was like just shook like just stuck and I was like what like what like I was like dead ass looking at her like what's wrong with you so she was like oh my god did he just really talk to me like oh my god so I was like, girl, so then he walked past again. <laughs> he walked past again. And she's like, my name is such and such. I'm not gonna say her name out loud because it's not gonna do sis like that. She said, my name is such and such. And he dead ass looked at her and like laughed and like shook his head and walked away. If y'all care what kind of products I'm using, please let me know. I'll, I'll tell you guys in the comments if you guys ask, but I think y'all really care. I think I'm just here for the story time. Like y'all really don't care what I be doing, honestly. Um, so she was like shook his head. Like she was just like, like stuck like sis was stuck and I was just like girl like you are embarrassing me here like uh-uh like we're freshmen and all but like you're embarrassing me so I'm walking around hugging everybody Aaliyah always say I'm the popular friend don't 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 do that <laughs> it's not true like I promise she's like every party we go to she always knows some damn body we can even go to parties off campus and like not in you know an ADUC party and Tasha walking up hugging people and she's like I'm the one that's Greek so I'll be confused on how she know these people Aaliyah I'm not popular sis I promise you I'm not okay <laughs> I just want to put that out there because I know she's about to say this like she, you a popular friend um so <laughs> we're like you know we're in the party we're vibing and everything else and the party's kind of dead like it's dead it's not like lit and I think it's because like we're freshmen and like my class at Spelman like our like 2018 class we were like rah-rah like we were literally like you know rah-rah in your face low-key we're alcoholics not even gonna talk about that like we just don't leave it alone we were like the partying class like we dead ass got told we were the worst class to come to Spelman the worst class to go to Morehouse like we, we were dead ass the worst class like we were always partying turning up whatever so I was a good girl mom if you're watching this I was good I promise I was um <laughs> My mom knew when I went to parties, y'all, so don't be trying to act like <laughs> I'm out here being fast, okay? Because she didn't play that. Even even now, I'm 25. My mom still be trying to check me. Like, girl. Anyway, so... Uh, <laughs> so, we're at this party, and, like, it's starting to get boring. So, my homeboy... I'm going to say this motherfucker's name. Like, I'm going to say this nigga's name because... Sir. So, I'm texting my homeboy, and his name is Wheezy. Uh, I bet y'all when you're like, bitch, now you know this story's about to be ratchet as fuck. Cause he said his nickname is fucking Wheezy. <laughs> He's like texting me. He's like, hey, where you at? And I'm like, oh, I'm at, you know, the da da party or whatever. Well, kickback. I was like, it's boring as fuck. And he was like, um, oh, me and my homeboy, we're about to have like a little get together. You guys trying to slide through. And I'm like, well, we don't have we don't have um we don't have a ride and I'm like and we don't want to pay for Uber because we're broke I was a freshman we were broke okay we were fucking broke I was like we're broke and we don't want to pay for Uber and he was like oh no no I got you I got you I'm gonna come get you and I'm like oh okay like that's fine or whatever and he was like um yeah I'm gonna come get you 
this and that. I'm like, well, what y'all doing there? He was like, it's like some of my homeboys and a few of our homegirls or whatever. I'm like, so what are we doing over there or whatever? And he was like, um, sorry, I had like some hair that was coming out. He was like, um, we just chilling for the most part, smoking, blah, blah. I don't smoke, so I'm like, what else is going on? He was like, oh, we're drinking, we might play some games, you know, have some um, pizza or whatever. At this time, like, I'm hungry, so I'm like, I got no money in my bank account, pizza. I was like, you're gonna take us back home? He was like, yeah, I'll take you guys back home, like, that's not a problem. Okay, cool. So he was like, well, I'm about 30 minutes away, but when I get there, I'll come and get y'all. I'm like, okay, cool. So we're just in this party, we chilling, and the, the, the dude I was talking to at the time, like me and him was on bad terms at that moment, like we were on odds. So like, he like, he said I can come to this party, but like he dead ass was trying to like ignore me and like, he was like snubbing me pretty much. Cause like he was mad, it was like something happened the night before between us, and he was like snubbing me like, you know, like, oh, like your little ass is here. And like, everyone knew, that was close to him knew that we was talking because like they would see me all the time but they was like you know like oh you're a girl like you know and he was mad at me like so I'm like you know just chilling or whatever and kind of like you know he's not talking to me so like what to do and <clears throat> oh lord I don't have corona don't say that um so he like he was like, you know, just kind of cold towards me. Like he wasn't really fucking with me that night. Like he was just kind of like, mm, all right, like she's here, but like I'm mad at her. And so then like, you know, we're just chilling around. I'm like, talk to my friend and like a homeboy that my friend had a crush on, he like came back up to me and he was like hugging on me and, and stuff. Like this is what I hate about niggas because like they know you talk to their homeboy, but they still gonna try you. Like they try to try people. And I don't like that. Like, don't do me like that. And he was like, um, you and your man's not talking. And I was like, we're good. And I didn't even like him. And he kept trying to talk to me. And I was just like, mm -hmm, no. So he like, you know, he kept saying like little smart things or whatever. And I'm like, oh, okay. And so he was like, you're not having fun. Like you, this, this, this. And I'm like, mm, I'm just chilling. Like I'm really here because she wanted to go out. Like this had nothing to do with me. Like sis just wanted to go out tonight. And he just kept on like, you know, just talking to whatever. So she's like sitting next to me still like looking at him like, like, like sis mouth was open. Like she was just looking at him like, oh, like just dreamy, just like in love with this man. And so he was like, what's up with your homegirl? Oh yeah, y'all, there's oil in my hair because I'm actually gonna wash my hair myself this weekend. And like, I'm getting my hair done next weekend. So don't judge my hair right now. I had to oil my scalp and like, you know, when you oil your scalp too much or like you put oil in your hair, it get like sleek. So don't, don't judge me too much, don't judge me. Okay, so um, yeah, so like, we're just like waiting for my friend Wheezy to get there. <laughs> Every time I say it, I get mad. So <laughs> he texts me, he's like, hey, I'm like five minutes up the street come outside so I'm like talking I'm like okay he's outside like we gotta go <laughs> so we get our shit and like we're going outside and this nigga is not five minutes up the street this nigga's on the other block like the other block like driving like where are you at I don't see you I'm like there's hella people standing outside like what are you talking about you don't see me and he's like where are you at just walk over this way so like me and her started walking mind you we're in the fucking hood guys we're in the hood so we're walking <laughs> we're walking and like we see this car like driving like back and forth or whatever and we're like is that him I'm like what kind of car are you in and this man dead ass was like I think I see you and like drive up on me and I'm like uh okay so then like he pulls up and I'm like who is this because like I thought he was driving some other nigga was driving so I'm like who is this and he was like oh this is my homeboy I cannot I think his homeboy was in like Carlton or like Carl or like something with a C I can't remember his homeboy name so I was like, oh, okay. He was like, yeah, he's just gonna drive us to the party, this and that, blah, blah. So I'm like, oh, okay. Stupid, wrong decision. Wrong decision, young Tasia. If I could go back, like this shit's funny now, but like, oh my God, wrong decision. So we get in this fucking car, okay? We get in this car. <laughs> and me and her in the back seat. <laughs> and this man is driving reckless. Like this man is driving so crazy. Like me and her in the back seat, like, woo and like we <laughs> were in the back seat like oh my god we had our seat belts on too we're like oh my god like why is this nigga fucking like <laughs> it's like we and then like my homeboy in the front seat trying to talk to me like hey how was that party this or that and I'm like 
it was lame. And he was like, oh, you smoke? And I'm like, I don't smoke. So homeboy's putting out like weed. I'm like, I don't smoke. So I'm like, you got weed in this fucking car? You got me in the motherfucking car? And I'm like texting my friend, like he's in the front seat and I'm texting this nigga like, you got fucking weed in this car? And like, I'm, I'm in the car with you? Like what, what's wrong with you? Like this and that. So <laughs> he, he did as driving. We get on MLK. So I had to be like on part, like somewhere over in Parsons or in that area, like in that vicinity, I had to be over there somewhere. We get on fucking MLK over there. If my AUC people, you know where KFC was and like McDonald's, like we're over there on that street. This man is driving reckless. It's in the middle of the night. It's pitch black outside. It's in the middle of the night. This man is driving reckless. Next thing you know, the police sirens go off like <laughs> instantly. And on that note, I'll be right back, guys. And wash this off my face. I'll be back. Okay, as I mentioned, the police were behind us. This fool go talk about some damn y'all think I can unroute uh, y'all think I can outrun these niggas? You can what? <laughs> I was like, pull over. He's like, I'ma try to outround out out <laughs> out outride this nigga. Like he thought he could outrun the police. I was looking at him like, why are you trying to outrun the police? Like just pull over. <laughs> He was trying, like, now it's funny, but like, back then I was scared as shit. Like, I was fucking scared. Number one, this is the reason why I'm scared, okay? This is why I'm scared. Number one, <laughs> this was like 2014, 2015. So number one, um, there were, there was weed in the car, okay? I don't know how much weed, but there was weed. There was weed in the car. Number two, this man is driving reckless, like reckless as fuck. Number <laughs> number three um yeah you have illegal substances in this damn car and back then like even if you like a little bit of weed like the police is locking you up for anything number four i'm from st louis my mama is not gonna come and get me out of jail if i'm in jail she gonna let me sit there and like this lady is crazy like for real y'all think i'm playing she dead ass will let me sit there like she will not come and get me number <laughs> there the list goes on okay the list goes fucking on okay i'm scared as shit so this man pulls over. <laughs> he pulls over. And the police, <laughs> the black, it was a black police officer. He walks up and he was like, license and registration, please. And like, he's looking in the car at us. And like, mind you, at this point, it's like me, my friend, him and his friend. And <laughs> he's like looking at us and he was like, where are y'all headed in such a hurry? <laughs> and this nigga talking about some, oh, we having a little get together at our house. And he was like, okay, why were you speeding so much? Like, he's like, you're literally going like, he was at least doing 20, 25 over. He's like, on a street though. He was like, why are you driving like that? And he was like, oh, I wasn't paying attention. So me and her in the backseat and like, we're like, literally like this. <laughs> I'm in the backseat, my hands on my lap. I'm just looking forward like, like, I'm not trying to go to jail. Like, I don't want you to search this car, my friend. Like, please don't search this fucking car. Please don't search it because guess what? You just gonna find something and then my ass is grass. Mom, I'm gonna beat my ass. Regardless, she already had an idea. Don't let Tasia go to Atlanta for school. This is gonna be the ice on the cake. She'll be like, yep, you're coming home. You can't go there anymore. You gotta come back. <laughs> so we're in the backseat. <laughs> And my friend looks at me and she whispers like, bitch, I can't go to jail. <laughs> and I look at her and I'm like, I can't either. <laughs> so me and her in the backseat having dialogue and shit like, we got to figure a way out of this. <laughs> we got to leave. We got to let the officers know like, we don't even know him. <laughs> like homeboy was like fuck and we was like we was looking like what the fuck is he saying fuck for he was like hey y'all <laughs> y'all gonna have to help y'all gonna have to help me eat this weed we was like eat it <laughs> this man dead ass should have passed back a fucking bowl of fucking weed to us and we was like we not eating that shit <laughs> we not eating that <laughs> we're like no, I'm not eating that. <laughs> he was like, <laughs> he was like, come on, if we all eat it, 
everything, then it's all equally like it's equaled out. We can't just eat this shit by ourselves. We was like, that's y'all weed. Y'all figure it out. So these niggas in the fucking front seat eating this fucking weed, like putting the weed in their mouth, chewing and eating this shit. <laughs> We're in the back seat, like, nope. <laughs> Nope, 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 nope. We gotta go. We gotta, we gotta get out of this. Like, we can't, we can't do this shit no more. So we're sitting in the car, like, for real. Like, this, the car, like, we were sitting in the car for so long. And we were so confused on what we were sitting in the car for. So then, <laughs> so we're sitting in the car and we're like, okay, like, we're like, should we like get out and like <laughs> ask the police officers, could we go back to Spelman? Because like, we could really walk back to Spelman. Like it's over there by um, the Walmart, that um, KFC and like the Walgreens. Like we can, we can dead ass walk back to Spelman. Like and leave these niggas, like we can leave them, like fuck them. <laughs> and we're really trying to figure out like, why is it taking so long? Then all of a sudden, <laughs> a second fucking police car pulls up <laughs> we're like okay something's not fucking right like <laughs> something is not right because how is it two of these cops now and we only like we were just speeding okay like what is really going on so <laughs> it's like funny now but like at that time i was in the back seat crying y'all like i was like i cannot go to jail they was like bro be quiet they don't even know we got weed we ate the shit <laughs> we're like but they can probably see that you guys are high as fuck like when i said they got so fucking high they got so fucking high like these niggas was high as fuck and the front seat dying laughing and we're like oh my god like no like we can't go to jail like we can't like my mom her dad was gonna kill her like no so she's like texting her boyfriend and she's like um yes yeah, sis had a boyfriend and went to more house so she was like um like we're in the car or whatever and we got pulled over and he was like um he was like where are you guys at i'm about to walk up there so we told him where we were at he was gonna walk up there or whatever then the police like come back and like knock on the window and he was like son let me get myself together before I tell this part. He was like, son. <sighs> oh my God. Is this your car? And he was like, uh, no. And he was like, hmm. Okay. Whose car is this, son? So the dude was like, oh, this is like, I guess he's, I think he said either my mama's car or my grandma's car. I can't remember. He just said my mama or my grandma. And he was like, um, he was like, no, wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's my girl's grandma or mama car. And we was like, well, who the fuck is it? Like, me and the back seat, like, who the fuck is it? He was like, son, do you know, and I fucking remember this shit, okay? I remember this quote. Do you know that the tags on this car is stolen? What? What's going on? Y'all are going to jail, period! What? Ain't no way around it. We're going to jail. Like, we was like, um, excuse me, Mr. Officer, sir. We, we was just going to a party with them. We don't really know them per se. And the officer like looked at us like, mm-hmm, okay, all right. We was like, can we go home? He was like, no, not yet. We was like, what? So then the police officer walked away again. And oh, I got a little nugget, a little ponytail. I got a little nugget ponytail, guys. Wow. All right. So... <laughs> So the police officer walked away again and me, I was like, what the fuck? You got stolen fucking tags on your car? And you got me in the car with you with some fucking weed? Like, I was so mad. Like, I was, I was heated. Like, you guys don't understand. Like, I was mad as fuck. Because, like, first off, the weed situation was one of its own. Because I don't even remember how much they had. But, like, they ate that shit. And that shit was like, whoa. Then all of a sudden, the tags on this motherfucking car are stolen? What? So, <laughs> he was like, I'm gonna need everyone to get out the car. And we're like, oh my God, we're going to jail. At this time, my friend's boyfriend like walked up and he was like, hey, like he walked up cause he didn't have a car either. So he like walked up and like the police was like, who are you, duh, duh. And he was like, oh, that's my girlfriend and my girlfriend's friend. And like, you know, I'm here to walk them back. <laughs> We would try everything to get home. We would try to get the fuck home. Let me just give y'all a visual of what I was wearing. I was wearing some little bitty ass shorts, okay? Like, baby, the, you know, sun's out, bun's out. Fuck the sun, baby. The moon was out, honey, okay? Howling at the moon, okay? Butt cheeks out, okay? With, like, a cute little top, some tennis. Did I have tennis shoes on or did I have, like, sandals on? Either one. 
baby i was out okay and you guys know over there in that area that's where the crackheads and the prostitutes be at okay so your girl was most definitely uh showing somebody okay <laughs> so the police officer like looking at us or whatever and he was like <laughs> he was like <laughs> where do y'all live we were like well we go to spelman so we live at spelman he was like oh y'all some spelman girls and he was like yes sir <laughs> so we we tried everything to leave we we're like yes sir he was like huh yeah y'all had nothing to do with this did y'all we were like no sir we didn't so he was like yeah you need to be careful who you get in the car with next time and we was like yes sir we don't even know him and we like pointed to the friend we like, didn't even know him i was like i knew him because he he was my friend his name he says oh that ain't your friend if he gonna put you in this type of situation i said right i understand that mr officer this and that blah blah so <laughs> the police officer like looking at us like okay these these girls are definitely like not only like we were in tears like we were like literally crying because i'm like my mama lives in st louis like my mom is not gonna come and get me i have a cousin that live here but she not gonna come get me either and like my mama's gonna kill me if i gotta call her and tell her to come bail me out like she's gonna kill me she's gonna let me sit there like she's not gonna come and get me like i was crying like me and her both was like tearing up because like we we dead ass like thought we were going to go to jail for this shit so the police officer like laughing he done searched them he asked them did they have something they were like no we don't have anything and me and her looking like oh my god they don't fucking ate the weed he was like are y'all sure you ain't got nothing and we were like we don't even do drugs like we were like we don't even smoke like we don't do anything he was like uh-huh uh-huh okay so then he just like looked at us again he was like you too go ahead and walk home before i before i change my mind we got our shit and we was out baby okay we was walking down the street so quick like these niggas were sitting on the curb because okay so supposedly what happened was the tags in the car was stolen so they came and they repoed the car like you know towed the car away and i don't know how they got home or what the fuck but like i didn't care about them i cared about me okay so we like walked back to spellman and <laughs> we was like never again we're never going anywhere with them again like we're never no so like um that that was like the weekend that week i ended up seeing homeboy on campus and he was like trying to talk to me and i'm like no because you dead ass almost got me arrested like what like no i'm a good girl <laughs> i'm a good girl i ain't got time to be getting arrested this and that blah blah so like i'm going off on him and he was like you are not gonna get arrested they didn't even find anything in the car i didn't know the car had stolen tags you think i knew that I don't care like I don't care like I'm not I'm not gonna be around you again like I don't care like whatever so <laughs> that is the story of me almost getting arrested guys like <laughs> that could have went so much different in today's times like honestly and truly and also on top of that like we okay so we were in the backseat google searching like you know <laughs> If you're in a car with someone that has weed, is everybody going to jail? And it was like on Google said yes. So that's what one reason why we really did panic. Like for real, we panicked because we were reading stuff online while we were in the backseat waiting. And like we were literally in the back of that car waiting for the police for at least I want to say 30 to 45 minutes. Like it was a very long time and we were very, very scared because like I mean like anything could have happened. Like we could have went to jail for real. Um, so me and her like how it was a lot that happened that night like we literally did ass walked home i was cold walking back like it was just uh uh i would i was like never again like never again am i doing some crazy shit like that never again am i getting in a car with somebody i don't know unless it's an uber driver or a lyft driver okay but <laughs> wild okay wild um, but thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys are entertained with my story. Please, 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 please make sure you like the video, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to be consistent with you guys. I swear I am. Um, I'm definitely thinking of different video content to come up with to post for you guys. But I hope you guys enjoyed this story time with me. And also, you know, getting your skin all cute. Ew. But I just want to say I appreciate everyone that followed me, everyone that take out the time to watch my videos. Thank you so much for all your love and support. And you guys have a good night.